Hello everybody, my name is Retrolyzer and welcome back to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone where we're moving swiftly onwards to the Transfiguration class. Fun times. Ah, now this does not look at all pleasant considering that it looks like there is very little room for error. So without further ado, let's throw ourselves straight in. Whoopsie! Bollocks! Shit! That was fucking close. Wow. Talk about... Ah. Whoa. Shit. Join us, Harry. We're about to start the transfiguration lesson. Transfiguration is the most complex and dangerous magic you'll learn at Hogwarts. Anyone messing around in my class will leave and not come back. You have been warned. Watch my wand move around the screen and press the symbol button it points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the transfiguration spell, Aviforce. Get ready. Alright, I'll be ready. Let's, here we go. One, two, and of course, as you know, it's, that was actually, I actually expected good. the, um, what am I thinking of? Excellent. The, uh, trip to the class to actually be really fucking hard. Perfect. But no, it was actually quite easy. The easiest, in fact. Good. Now try and keep up. I'll do my best. Here we go. And this seems easy enough. That was good. Thank you, madam. There we go. Excellent. Boop, boop, doop, bang, done. Perfect. Thank you. Very well, let's keep going. Let's try. It seems easy enough. That was good. Thank you, madam. I'm trying my best. This looks promising. Excellent. I almost uh, buggered up there, but I'm uh, keeping it together. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. Well done, class. Now let's put the spell into practice. Harry Potter, follow me, please. Welcome, Harry. First, use your wand to cast a transfiguration spell on the statue. Now, hit your symbol button at the right time in order to transfigure the statue into its new shape. Let's see if you can transform this statue, and perhaps you'll find a way to reach the doorway at the top of the room. That sounds easy enough. Right, get into position and let's try this thing. Abby Fords. Damn right. Right, good. Right. Got it. And off it flies. Well done, Mr. Potter. Five points to Gryffindor. Now use the floating table to leave the class. Well, thank you very much for a wonderful lesson, madam. I will be taking my leave then. Meanwhile, the House Point hourglasses are slowly filling up. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. The race for the house cup is heating up. Amazingly enough, I actually am the only one who seems to be getting bloody points for Gryffindor, so... Congratulations to me for lasting so long in the lead. Abby Fords. 
And now let's go and transfigure this little thing. Thank you. Another. And off it flies. I'm now going to be traveling upwards by table. What do we have up here anyway? Let's see. There's one. And that's the only door that's open at this time, so let's go and take this route. Now, I wonder what's this? It's Chamber Party Potter! I've got your parcel, Potter! Want it back, do we? Let's have a chase through the attic, then. If you beat me to the end, I might give it back. Or I might not. Let's just see, shall we? Off we go, then. You son of a bitch. He's gone and stolen my parcel. I'm then going to go and piss off this way. Hello, Harry. Try and get ten every flavour beans from the kitten before time runs out. Watch out for those unstable blocks. Good luck. Right, well, first thing first, I must follow the kitten. Whoa, careful there. Jesus Christ. This is bad. Shit. The cat's died too. Although, to be fair, Son of a bitch. This is quite a dangerous sport for me to be um, engaging in, don't you think? Alright, got it. Well done, Harry. You collected all ten Bertie Bot's beans. Have this famous witches and wizards card as your reward. Roderick Plumpton. Well, that was a fucking waste of time. Abby Ford. Right, let's get up to the attic and get that fucking parcel. Piece of shit. Thinks he can go and steal my property? Well, I'll teach him a fucking lesson. Come on, start flying away so I can take this table. Who needs elevators? Thank you. Up to the attic. And now, I get my revenge. We start here. You must run across the roof beams. I've covered some of them in slippery flobber mucus just for you, Potter. If you get to the end before me, you win! Off we go, Potty Potter! Piece of shit. Right, well, let's uh, go and do exactly that. We must now chase after the bastard. And off he flies. Easy does it. Whoa! Carefully does it. Whew. For a moment I thought I was done for. Alright, it looks good. It looks good. Just need to keep moving. Bollocks! Oh. There he is. He's running. However, it looks like I am now in the lead and I hope to keep it. Spoke too soon. Shit. Shit! That was horrible. Oh, bollocks. Oh. oh, bollocks. Piece of shit. Well, at least I know one thing. Peeves is a cunt of the highest order. Oh, bollocks. 
Ah, shit. That was horrible. Really horrible. No matter. I'm catching up once more. Carefully does it. Alright. Aha! No, that's perfect. I could use with um, a chocolate frog. The bastard's laughing at me. Well, I'll teach him. Here we go. And now, keep going. There he is. We're gaining. Oh, bollocks. Bastards head the other headed the other way. No matter. I'll get him. Or at least I hope I will. Spoke too soon. Fuck me. I am horrible at this. Oh my Jesus Christ. Right, fall back. There was um, a chocolate frog that I could uh, use. And I bloody well need it now. Right. Easy does it. Spoke too soon! Ooh. Oh dear, little Potter. Can't keep up with little Peeves, eh? Little legs not fast enough. This is fun! Let's go another round! Ah, oh, shit. Again? Well, fine. At least now I know what the course will be like. Oop. I'll be taking that frog, if you don't mind. Piece of shit. Right, come on. We need to keep ahead this time. It's not going to be easy, though. Never is, is it? Alright, this looks promising. Bloody hell. That was a close one. Phew. Join... Join the wizards, they said. It would be fun, they said. This is not fun at all. This bastard stolen my shit. I want my shit back. Here we go. Ooh. Alright. Right, drop down. And then, keep moving. Things are looking up. At least now, I have the element of knowledge. For knowledge, in fact. Careful there. Right, easy does it. Next. Huh. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Is there nothing I can do to slow the bastard down? <sighs> Come on. Nope, this looks promising. <clears throat> Good. Excellent, excellent. Shit! Right. This is the final section. I've won! I've won! Yes! What a cheat! Not fair! Peeve wasn't ready! Here, Peeve doesn't want your silly parcel! Take it back! Your father left this invisibility cloak in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. To activate this cloak, pick up the invisibility tokens. 
They will only work for a short time, so be careful. Whew, Christ, that took me long enough. I'm sweating like a fucking pig. Now, what's going on down here? Good question. Thank you. Ow. Meanwhile, if I'm not mistaken, there was actually a door back there that I did not get the chance to look through. I wish to look through it now. Specifically, that one. Oh, it's the portrait room. Well, might as well go and say hello. Halt! You'll need a password to get past me, my lad. Bring me the password and you may proceed. Are you still here? I will not reward you for laziness, my boy. I don't like this portrait. I hope I burn him later. Moving swiftly onwards, we do have one final area, which just unlocked right there. Might as well then um, go and have a look around, if I have the ability to get across, that is. Ah, thank you. I've always wanted to travel by table. Ah. Now there's something intriguing. It's this bastard again. Well now, students aren't allowed in here, are they? There are things in the Forbidden Corridor that are not for the eyes of mere boys like you. No, no indeed. Dumbledore has ordered that no students are to enter this corridor. And don't go trying a secret passage. Mrs. Norris and I know them all. Now be off with you, before I have you expelled for wasting our time! I'm instead going to do the exact opposite, and just go straight through the door. Well, aren't I a total badass? First things first, grab that invisibility token. However, the presence of Mr. Filch is a bit of um, an issue. No matter. There must be some way to... Ah, there's a key there. Well, that did not work. No matter. We'll um, quickly hop up onto the shelves, and then we'll have the key. And then... We're through. See, I told you this bastard knew them all. Still, let's move on to the next section. Yes, Mr. Filch, what is it? Uh, Professor Snape, you said to alert you if I heard anyone sneaking around in the Forbidden Corridor. Well, Mrs. Norris and I suspect that one of the students may be trying to sneak past us. I see. That's very interesting, Mr. Filch. And I have an idea who it might be. But we have ways of dealing with interlopers. You have my permission to use the harshest measures necessary. There is something very special in the Forbidden Corridor that I've had my eye on for some time. We can't let anyone interfere with my plans. Can we, Mr. Filch? No, indeed, Professor Snipe. Mrs. Norris and I will be extra vigilant watching out for intruders. See that you do, Mr. Filch. I have something special planned for anyone who tries to defy me. Hmm. Do I follow? Of course I do.
and now we're completely visible. Not good. Still, not like it matters. All we need to do now is be careful of her. If there is one thing I fear most, it's that fucking cat. Shut up. Where's that cat going? There she is. Wait for it. There she is. Right. Uh-oh. That was a close one. Now that was fucking close. Still, moving on to the next section. What do we have? There doesn't appear to be anybody down there. Although, I could be wrong. Ah. So, Mr. Filch is there. And Mrs. Norris. Where is Mrs. Norris? She's somewhere within this room. Ah, there she is. Phew! There is no chance in hell I'm going to allow you to take me alive, Mrs. Norris. Now, I need this to wear off so I can then... There we go. I now need that um, invisibility token once more. Thank you. Alright. Get moving. Thank you. Yeah, he knows all of them. Oh shit. Get up onto the bookshelf. Now, where is that? Right, okay, so... I need to find a way to sneak past these two. That was easy enough. I'll then uh, sneak back onto that bookshelf. And I'll be out of sight. Although, I think I've got the opportunity. Get in! Splinter Cell, Harry Potter edition. Now, what's this? Hello. Danger, do not enter. I don't really have a choice, do I? No matter. Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? thought Harry. Harry! Are you trying to 
Barb is on the rampage. It's cornered Hermione in the girls' toilets. She needs our help. We must try to rescue her straight away. Come on, Harry. We have to get moving. Right, well, if that's the case, then let's get going. Let's get moving. I can't really go and stop right here, even though we are out of time. Up a tower, right. Well, let's get moving. Harry, you distract the troll and I'll find Hermione. Christ. Troll. Troll. And Ron's just pissed off. Well, thanks Ron. Thanks a fucking bunch. Bloody hell. Keep running, Harry. You're too fat and supple to die now. Woo! Oh my god. Not good. Not good. Kill me now. Don't kill me. Keep going! Wait, that's Viscount Palmerston there on that portrait. Wow, I did not expect to see the uh, picture of a British uh, Prime Minister in a, a school for magic of all things. Oh shit, that slowed me down. No matter. We're still moving. Come on. I'm almost done. Oh, bloody hell. This is bad. Oh, Christ. I missed that frog. I want that frog, though. Son of a bitch. Not good. I have seven beans left. Five beans left. Four. Three. Two, one, one left. Alright, we're done with the beans, but we're not out of the woods yet for this troll. This troll is still here. Keep running. Are you alright, Hermione? I'll try to charm the troll's club so it bashes him on the head. Use your knockback jeans to keep those toilets from hitting us. Right, well, here he comes. Uh-oh. Good shot. Don't worry, it got Ron. Good shot, now. Nice. Next. Alright, we're doing well. Uh-oh, another U-Bend. Don't worry, we're almost done. Excellent. Wow! Did you see that? Thank you, boys. Mr. Potter, Hogwarts' second Quidditch match of the year is about to begin. Gryffindor will be competing against the redoubtable talents of the Ravenclaw team. I realize this comes on short notice, but you're the best seeker we've had for ages. We're all waiting for you at the Quidditch pitch, so come at once. Deputy Headmistress McGonagall. Getting ready for Quidditch, are you? It's going to be an exciting game. Ravenclaw is a fine team. Hagrid, what do you know about the third floor? You mean Fluffy. Fluffy? 
Yeah, I bought him off a Greek chap I met in the pub last year. I lent him a Dumbledore to guard the, uh... Guard the what? Don't ask me any more. That's top secret, that is. You forget that dog and what he's guarding. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Who's Nicholas Flamel? Never you mind. I'm off. You better get going, Harry. The Quidditch match is about to start. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! The Quidditch pitch has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the coffle and try to put it through the hoops to score. Watch out for the bludgers. These are charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Two metres of each team try to keep them away. Harry Potter is once again Gryffindor's team seeker. In the last match against Hufflepuff, he caught the snitch to win the game. Remember, when the snitch appears, it releases speed rings that will help the seeker fly faster. Here comes Potter! A glint of gold! Is that the snitch? Potter's seen the snitch! Yeah! The crowd is on its feet! Come on, Harry Potter! Yeah, well, I would like to point out that I'm not wanting to do this. I'm trying to end this bloody episode. It's overdue by about ten minutes. Ugh. Ow! That fucking hurt. No matter, it seems that... Here comes the Razor Claw Seeker! <laughs> Not to worry, we just need to keep on at that bloody snitch. Where'd it go? There it is. Meanwhile, it's a damn good... It's a damn good thing I still possess. Well, I, uh... Thank you. I got that, um, Quidditch armor. Three... Three, three hits from, uh... Oops. Not good. Three, three hits. There we go. From, uh, the bludgers. Without any damage incurred. I'm doing my best. Here we go. You think so? Yeah, just a bit. Harry Potter closes in on the snitch. Potter's going for it. Right, we're trying for it, but I've got scenes of flying. Yeah, well, I'm trying, but. Got it! Potter has the snitch! I've got some bad news, Harry. Norbert isn't doing too well, he's very sick. We need to make him some special dragon tonic to pep him up again. The tonic needs some very rare components though, when there aren't any in the castle. So you and I must go to Diagon Alley to get them. We need three peacock feathers, one eagle owl feather, and three giant purple toad warts. But we can't buy anything without money. Go to Gringotts to get some canuts, sickles, and galleons. Grip hook will see you right. I'm off to the leaky cauldron for a few butter beers if you need me. I'll meet you when you're all done. Wow, 
Really? You're just going to piss off to uh, go and have some beer while I've got to go and do your fucking work? Alright then. But you're going to have to wait until next week, Sunshine, because we have run out of time. But don't worry, I'll be back soon enough, as I said, next week. But if you can't wait until then, do please check out the selection boxes on my left, or go to the channel itself. There is plenty more to be seen. Thank you very much once more for watching, and of course from me, ta-ta!